All right, we are filming. We are filming. Christmas Eve. We're going to go look. We're going to look for Santa Claus. All right, we got a little wind coming from my left, so I will put a little left correction in there. That is a little off there. Sorry for that. All right, we are climbing nicely. We are up in the air. We are indeed. Nice and smooth, nothing bouncing us around. And we will start heading toward the north. Just kind of follow 69. How low can you fly legally? Uh, well, it depends. If you're over a city, you, you can't be over, um, no closer than, I think, 500, well, 1,000 feet of the highest obstacle. Yeah. So that's the lake that is right at the end of uh, the auction. You know, we always turn right here. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go over a little bit. Let's do over Auburn first. As a matter of fact, you want to hit the house right now? Yeah, we could do that. So there's uh, Bear Creek. All those houses? Right here? Right over here. Yeah. That's Bear Creek. Right, so once you got Bear Creek, then go to the front of Bear Creek, you'll see the road is 52. There's the train track. You can see a train coming down. Yeah. All right. So right below us is County Road 52. You see Bear Creek right here with the lake. Yeah. You see the field right there? Yeah. Next to it? And then the woods, right after the woods is our house. You see the lane there? Uh, actually, it's it's down a little further. It's, uh, I told you wrong, it's not quite there. Yeah, is that us? No, that's not us. Uh, I gotta get a little bit over here so I can see. Right here, right here, straight down. See the curved driveway? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Livingston County traffic, this is 150 Papa Tango. So there's the airport up there, you can see uh, out, it. Uh, yeah. Straight in front way, 31, Livingston County.
How high are we right now? Well, we're at 2,800 2, feet. Uh, so we're actually 2,000 feet above the ground. See the train down there? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now we'll, we'll head over to the lake, go across over the top of uh, Auburn here. There's Lakewood Park. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're definitely right about the uh, the peaceful feeling. Yeah. There's nobody up here. Yeah. Taking Landon or Andrew home. Yeah. To, he's like, oh, I didn't have to fight the crowds or anything. So uh, we're actually you now most of the stuff's over on this side. The 4-H fairgrounds, the courthouses. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. I'll turn this way. Straight down. There's a score house, yeah. So across the street is my office. There's putting a new subdivision in at the golf course. Here's the DeKalb High School. We're getting ready to... That's uh, day spring. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah! Wow. <laughs> so right now we're doing. Uh, we're not pushing it hard, but we're doing about 95 knots which would be somewhere probably around 110 miles per hour. Yeah. Doesn't feel like it, does it? No. When I took uh, Uncle Todd, he wanted to open the window to feel it. And it so this is 69. Yep, right 69 here. right here. So we're right up here is Waterloo. Right there's Waterloo, where we were last night with the train. There's the kind of traffic. This is 150 Papa Tango on about a three mile final on way 3 1 landing. Can the yeah. they hear us on the other end? No. I have to hit this button right here. Okay. That's when they would hear us. You can see one lake up there. That's Hamilton Lake. Way out in the distance. Yeah. Let me look at my phone. All right, so we're going to fly over Angola here. Get up there, I'll get their frequency. 23075. And we're heater. If we get cold, we can. Oh, 
pop that open just a little bit. So do you feel any claustrophobia? No. None at all. I did in the very beginning when you turned on the plane. Then it went away. This one away? Yeah. No, this is like really peaceful. So that's Ashley right there. I still can't get over how flat Indiana is. Yeah. It's so flat. Yep. No mountains anywhere. No hills. All right, so I'm going to go to, oh. What we'll plan on doing is fly over the top of the airport here. This is uh, Steuben County. I'll take a right and then we'll see uh, Crooked Lake and we can see uh, yeah. James and so forth. Tri-State traffic, Cessna 212, eight echoes of about uh, five miles to the uh, south, planning to fly midfield at 2,600 feet, uh, Tri-State. So what lake is this up here? This is this is nothing really, uh, but the next one over. Well, the one way you see this one, and then you see kind of another one here. The big one out there. Yeah. 
is crooked. Okay. And that's first basin, second basin, and that long piece that you see at about the one o'clock position for you is uh, third basin. That's Lake Gage way out there. All right, we're looking for traffic. Just make sure nobody else is flying. Tri-State traffic, uh, Cessna 2128 Echo is crossing midfield at 2,700 feet. Tri-State. do is I think we'll go out to we'll go out to gauge and circle back. a selfie of both of us. That's crooked right there, you see? One. Yep. Yeah. So you can see where the peninsula is. There's the bridge that we go under. Third. This is third basin. Yeah, yeah. So we're probably around 10 o'clock. We're down on this side. This side because we moved to oh, the yeah, old right. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One behind that is James. It's the big one, all these different Jemerson and so and all that kind of stuff. This one up here that we're going to is uh, Gage. We'll see Daryl Doden's house. That's a nice big one that's being built. So I'll put the uh, lake on your side. This is Lake Gage? Yep. Pretty close to uh, your driving there, it seems a lot further. How many hours in the air can this get on a full tank? Oh, I would guess uh, maybe Maybe we can get five. So you should see a big one coming down on that in. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, I can't see it. I turn here. Whose place is that? Uh, Doden's. 
would be, yeah, this one right here. Yeah. Mom and my mom and I walk around this lake often. Yeah, I shouldn't say often. A couple times a year. Walk around our lake as well. So I'm gonna put the uh, third basin just right there by you. Yeah. We'll kind of go up and then turn and go by the cottage. She's never been up in the air? Nope. See Fort Wayne way out there, the building sticking up. Yeah. bumps. All right, when we get up here, get out your window. There's going to be an open lot where they tore down one and they're, they're building it. But they just have the basement in. So let me get it over here. Casey Cove. Okay, now look down here, past the restaurant. Uh -oh. Yeah, I see it. You see ours? Yeah. All right. Can't see there. But if you see it, you're good. So you can see where ours is located with the runway. A lot of times during the summer, they just come in and land. They fly right over us. It's kind of cool. up a little higher here. So I'll trim it. All right, we're back recording. The plane is going to be handed over to Aaron. He is going to fly. So you mean to scoot my seat up a little bit? Yep, you can. There's a bar right underneath. You cannot grab the yoke to do it. All right. I'll take care of the rudders, so you don't worry about the rudders, just the handle, okay? Your plane. So just gentle turns. This tells you here if you're climbing, which you're starting to climb. This will tell you you're climbing as well. Try to fly with one hand, just very lightly, very gentle. Right, right there. That's the sight picture you want, is right there. This should stay right at about zero. Starting to go down now. So when I... Okay. So this is, this controls both down and up. Yeah. You, you push in, it goes down, pull back, it's going to climb. Obviously turning, it turns it. Traffic terminal 
final one four customer. What is this up here? Oh, uh, I think that might be Butler. Uh, yeah, that's Rain Butler. Traffic. So Field Dynamics, is, you see it Rain 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 down there. Two, six, we'll actually kind of head right over Field Dynamics and Butler. Uh, two echo Sierra. Try to one. relax your hands. No, I'm trying to, am I supposed to keep it at zero? Yeah, you just kind of look out here, and you just get your sight picture. Just gently hold. This is normal for everybody to grab it too hard. Just try one hand. Just gently. Once you see that, you're going to have it dialed in. You feel like it's going down, you just gently, one hand, just bring it back a little bit, right like that. We're at 5,000 feet, we'll just kind of hang around at five here. Why only the one hand? Well then, normally you fly, you leave one for this, plus it keeps you from, when you land, she taught me it's okay to put two hands on. Normally when you're flying, you just try to do one hand. Talk about traffic. Experimental 9 for Bravo Juliet, left downway to runway. Yeah, this is nice. It is nice, isn't it? Traffic experimental 9 4 Bravo Juliet, base to final 1 4 Kokomo. The Metro traffic helicopter 3 Buffalo Tower. Now we're going with a little bit of with the wind. We're doing 115 miles per hour. Departing to the north, and our south of the CU westbound. Now we may not be we may not be going over the ground that fast. That's that sometimes circle Gary's house. Yeah. I'm about thirteen hundred feet here. Uh, one minute over, Roger, up the champ at the site. So this must be the road that takes us to uh, Edgerton, Ohio is right there. We're right over Butler. See the airport way over, over in that direction. One nine Delta four three Bravo until one eighty head back. One nine Delta Roger, but be advised that you kind of turn turn to okay, about uh, two forty. So watch out for me. Maybe right there. Let's go uh, 230. Uh, that's good. Flying the plane. He is flying the plane, folks. We are up here on Christmas Eve. We have not yet seen any sight of reindeer or Santa Claus. Uh, 1,500 feet inbound and over by the field northeast, southwest. Turn and enter midfield, left downwind, runway 28. Pickle traffic, 5 Yankee X-ray, left, uh, left downwind, runway 26. Pickle. All right, let's listen to our weather, see if it's... 1, 1,000, overcast, temperature 7 Celsius, 2.0 LT. 
altimeter, 3004. Okay, that's about the same. Auburn, DeKalb County Airport. Automated weather observation, 2107 Zulu weather. Wind, 200 at 4. Visibility, 10. Ceiling, 11000. One, Overcast. Temperature, so we'll use the same runway. Altimeter, 3004. You want to text mom, tell her we're going to fly over? Auburn, DeKalb County Airport. Automated weather observation. Two, one, zero, eight, Zulu weather. Wind, two, zero, zero, at four. Visibility, one, zero. Ceiling, one, one, thousand. Overcast. Temperature, seven Celsius. Dew point, zero. Altimeter, three, zero, zero, four. Did you tell her? Yeah. Text her. Right up here. Auburn, DeKalb County Airport. Ramp. DeKalb County, Auburn Traffic, Cessna 2128, Echo on final for 27, DeKalb County. DeKalb County Traffic, 70 Bravo, turning downwind, 27, DeKalb County. All right, that wasn't bad. Cap gun traffic, experimental 70 Bravo, turning left base to seven. Cap gunning.